Hey. Okay, can you show me yeah, what you have now? I hope it's done. I think it's done. Uh, we only have a program to, um, <laughs> to some program. Good lord, how many do we have on here? Okay, line fall. Okay. Was it the outside or the inside? Uh, for the stock one, it was outside. Inside. Is it? And it needs to go around this way. Oh, I know it needs to go around this way. But okay, let's see. Where do you want to? Oh, it's okay. So I'm not doing it? Oh, okay. Just a moment, just to take it. Let's see what happened. I'm trying to figure out what it's tracking. It seems to be picking up the gray. A little bit moved to the other situation or some other point. How we do the program we actually know works? Do you put the ball there? If you want to? There's a dude. And then you click the orange button right now. Click the orange button first. Okay. Oh, here's a... Okay, use the ultrasonic sensor and touch sensor now. Okay. Yep, thank you. program is, uh, as soon as it gets, like, same thing as with uh, the robot, if some, the ultrasonic sensor senses anything, it starts moving forward. It moves forward until it hits this and the sound sensor, or the touch sensor is pressed. And then it stays there until we make a noise. Uh, the first motor movement is actually the claws coming together and grabbing the ball. It then moves backwards. And then after a certain amount of time, it comes to the line. And then after that, we have this, which is um, basically a line follow program. It either is moving left or right, depending on the, um, the light that the light sensor is under. So whether it's black or white, basically. And that is set to go for a certain amount of time. And then we have it um, make a turn. It then goes forward until we clap, and then drops the ball. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, any question? Anybody at all. Thank you.